Hey folks, today I want you to look at this. Can you imagine what we've cooked here? Mrs. Cast Iron cooked me some awesome hamburgers. She does a great job with it. Unfortunately, we don't have the hamburgers to show you, but what I do have is the mess to clean up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to clean a cast iron grill pan real easily. Now, grill pans are a little trickier than most other type skillets because they have these ridges in them. But I've got some scrapers here. Now, these, uh, these come from Lodge. These work great for like in the corners of stuff. But this one here is notched. And as you can see, the grooves on our cast iron grill pan, these fit perfectly in the grooves of a grill pan. So all you have to do is just kind of Line them up like that and scrape all your excess burn on food or food that's stuck on after cooking in a cast iron grill pan. So you can see how it's pulled some of that hamburger that was uh, cooked on the skillet. Now ideally the best way to clean any kind of cast iron is immediately after you're done cooking while the skillet is still hot. But since we wasn't able to do that, you can still clean a cast iron grill pan even after it's already uh, cooled off. What you wanna do, like I said, go ahead and get your excess um, burn off pieces off of here and we'll discard that in the trash can and then next I'm gonna move over to the sink and I'm gonna show you how to clean this. Okay, I want to go ahead and rinse my little scraper off. Boy these are handy little things certainly for like getting into the corners you can use these with but for the grill pan this is notched little scraper is perfect. Now what you want to do I mean you can use just hot water like this and take a um, you know, just a brush like this. They make different kinds. They've got some that you can hold in your hand like this. And then this one's a little bit longer handle. I like this one quite a bit. I use it regularly. But there's also another thing too, and that's chain mail. If you've not ever used a chain mail scrubber, uh, this is one that I use quite often. Now, Teresa bought me another one uh, that actually you can put soap in if you wanted to. You could put you a little dab of soap in it. And folks, I'm just going to tell you, it's okay to use a little bit of soap in your cast iron if you want to, but you don't have to. I know a lot of people say not to, but even Lodge says it's okay to use a little bit if you want to. But uh, in this case, I'm not really going to do that. I'm just going to kind of show you how we scraped a little bit of that out. Now, we didn't get it all out. As you can see, there's still some in here, but the reason why I'm leaving it in here and not completely cleaning it is I want to show you another technique that you can use. And uh, if you're not able to clean it immediately after you're done cooking while the skillet is still warm, just take you a little bit of water like this right here and take it back over to the stove. Okay, and so now that we're back over here at the stove, what we want to do, we've got our water in here and we're just going to, we've got the burner on. We're going to turn this up and we're going to let this water heat up and the uh, hot water and the steam will help to clean this uh, and release all this hamburger meat that was left on uh, the skillet. And as you can see, this water is beginning to bubble and boil a little bit. So it's really releasing a lot of this uh, baked on, burn on uh, hamburger meat that's still on here. So I'm going to turn my heat off and we're going to go back to the stove or back to the uh, sink. So we'll turn the hot water on and we're just going to take our scrub brush and we're just going to begin to scrub down in all these grooves and release all of this hamburger meat that's been cooked on, baked on. And as you can see, as we heated the water up on the stove, it helped to release any of the burn on food that might be stuck to our cast iron grill pan. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take and, and dump all this water out, wipe it out with a paper towel, and I'm going to take it back over to the stove top and heat it up and eliminate all the moisture out of it. Okay, we're back over here on the stove. We've got the burner turned on and we've got our cast iron grill pan clean. And so we're letting it heat up and burn off any moisture. You don't want to put your grill pan or skillets or any kind of cast iron away while it's still wet. So this takes a little bit more attention because of the ridges but it's real easy to do and uh, once you get everything completely dry then just like any other cast iron 
to maintain it, you want to put a little bit of oil of some type or another. And we're going to add a little bit extra because of these grooves. And you just want to let that heat up a little bit and just take your uh, paper towel or a soft cloth like a t-shirt or something like that and just be sure and get down in all the grooves and uh, make sure you wipe out any excess because you don't want any excess oil because that causes stickiness and we don't want sticky cast iron so anyway i just wanted to show you guys today how easy it is when mrs cast iron cooks me an awesome hamburger in our grill pan to get the grill marks on it we love that but sometimes we don't have the time to clean it immediately but you can clean your cast iron grill pan even after it has already been cooked in and cooled off so we appreciate you guys y'all have a great day we'll see you again